Hello everybody, I'm the Love Doctor. I have a PhD in love after training in the Nepali mountain range for 31 years, and today I'm here to teach you all the secrets about having a crush that most people tend to overlook. Now, before we get started, I would just like to put it out there that this is mostly about women, so if you're into guys, try these tips. Leave your experiences in the comments below. Now, with all of that out of the way, let's begin. First, I want to talk about the most important part of improving your relationship with your crush. Whether you're in school, you're an adult, you live in a retirement home, what have you. The most crucial part that I see so many people overlooking is interpreting your crush's hints. Now, if you clicked on this video, that means you have low self-esteem. When you have low self-esteem, you tend to pass off your crush's hints as nothing important in that they could never love someone like you. Most of the time, however, this simply just isn't true. Chances are, your crush has already dropped some pretty big hints about their true feelings that you're just ignoring. Here are some of the most common hints that I see go over so many people's heads on a day-to-day -day basis. Hi. Many people pass this one off as their crush just being friendly with them. However, if you take away your own feelings about yourself and start to look at it from a logical outsider's perspective, you'll realize how utterly ridiculous that is. Statistically, it just doesn't add up. There are over 7.5 billion people on Earth, and out of all of them, your crush just randomly decided to be friendly with you, of all people? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Obviously, your crush is trying to be more than friendly with you. Compliments. This is another hint that people just pass off as their crush being friendly with them. It's scary how many people are unable to crack the compliment code. How many times have you received genuine compliments from people in your entire life? Not a lot, I'm guessing. Most of the time, people will only compliment you in order to get something from you. This is deep-rooted in our primal instincts as humans. Go into the wild and compare how many primates try and trade with their kin, expecting something in return, as to how many just throw their things at people out of common courtesy. Even in relationships, primates will often try and win the affection of their mate through supplying them with food or tools or whatever. This is still a prevalent trait in humanity, except that we're smarter and we realize that other people do not deserve our stuff, so we exchange compliments instead. So, next time someone tries to give you a compliment, they're either brown-nosing you or, in your crush's case, they love you. Fair. If your crush asks a favor from you, whether it be something big like helping them on a school project, or something small like passing them a pencil, it means that they trust you to follow up on it. If they trust you enough to even ask, it means they hold you in high regard. Even something as simple as pardon me falls into this category, as it shows that they trust you enough to get out of their way, while it also shows that they care enough about your feelings to be polite about it. How did you find me? Get out of my house before I call the police, sicko. Do I even need to explain this one? Good news, if they drop this one on you, you're in the gold. There's absolutely no doubt at this point that they like you. Now, some people don't have crushes that they can just interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. However, there are some other non-verbal hints that your crush might be dropping that you're totally ignoring as we speak. Looking nice. If your crush comes to school or work or wherever dressed in clothing that you think compliments them wonderfully, they're doing it for the sole reason of impressing you. If they wear makeup, the only reason they're doing so is because they want to look attractive, especially in your eyes. Now, I know some myths have started popping up recently that women wear makeup for their friends or as some outlet of expression like they're a kid making YouTube videos. However, as a boy with absolutely no experience in makeup whatsoever, I can firmly say without a doubt that these statements are ignorant and some people just don't know what they're talking about. There's a reason that the pickup line, you don't need all that makeup to look beautiful, works every time and wins over every woman's heart. It's because it acknowledges why they've done what they've done and goes one step beyond. It doesn't come off as ignorant or douchey in the slightest. Show. Bring up. Now, 
your crush might dress casually. No worries. If they show up to school or work at all, it means that they haven't deemed you so horrifying that they'd skip it entirely just to avoid you. This, in crush, translates to, I'm madly in love with you and I can't stop thinking about you. Now you know for certain that your crush likes you back. However, they're still testing you without you even realizing it to see if you are a worthy heir to their family's throne. This means you have to make the first move. But a lot of people are shy and they're scared of the outcome. Don't worry though, because I have some tips for you that are guaranteed to work. Be yourself. Not now, the biggest mistake that I see so many people making is that they try to be themselves. They have this mindset that it's better to be yourself because if you stay true to who you are, eventually the perfect person will come along and love and appreciate you for who you are inside. Whereas if you try and fake who you are to earn the affection of a specific person, it might seem good in the moment, but in the long run, you'll be stuck playing this character that you might not even agree with just to earn the affection of a single person whom you aren't even compatible with. And you'll end up dying alone under the guise of a mask and left with a gaping void in your heart. Now, as you can imagine, this mindset is profoundly dumb. No one wants you to be yourself. Do you think I act like this off camera? Gosh, no. If being yourself really worked, don't you think you would have found someone by now? The trick is to not be yourself at all. Unless you're a douchebag, then, you know, be whoever you want. I've seen many people that are scared to confess their love because they're taking themselves out of their comfort zone. But that's a good thing. You can't spend your entire life being comfortable. Otherwise, you won't be able to push yourself to try new things. Many people, your crush probably included, enjoy the thrill of roller coasters. Now, do you think they enjoy going on roller coasters because it makes them feel comfortable? No, they enjoy the thrill of feeling like they could fall off and die at any moment. The lack of comfort is what makes the experience so enjoyable. Otherwise, it'd be stale. The same rule applies in love. The key to win over your crush is to take them out of their comfort zone. Or, in other words, make them as uncomfortable as possible around you. This means speaking very crudely, acting incredibly shallow, and don't be afraid to just flat out be sexist. If they say things like, get away creep, and walk away, this means you're doing it right. In reality, they're just playing along with the scenario, even if they don't realize it yet, and this is actually an encouragement for you to pursue them. If you see them walk away, this is them cueing you in to follow after them and keep on pushing. Not many people want to leave their comfort zone and confess their love to their crush, so you'll be asserting dominance over the beta males or females that might be potential competition, as well as winning over your crush's love for sure, or at the very least, their respect and appreciation for the chivalrous gentleman you are for being willing to take them out of their comfort zone for them. It also helps to brag a crud ton. Brag about just how impressive you are and use your strengths to your advantage. If you're a hot muscular hunk baby, flex those biceps on them. Even pick them up if it feels right in the moment. If you're a big brain intellectual, Brag about the size of your IQ and hit her with a cheesy pickup line like we're a more toxic mixture than bleach and ammonia or kneel before me, plebeian filth. You're merely a Neanderthal compared to my massive intellect, flea. If you're a gamer, rise up and hit him with the gamer stance, etc, etc. Also, brag about how rich you are by spending your money on useless things. If you're not rich, just buy something cheap and pretend it's worth a lot. Get gold-plated watches, even though you probably can't even read a traditional clock. Get Gucci clothes that look god-awful just because they're trendy. This trick can work with any clothes, as long as it looks god-awful. You can even rock the Adam and Eve style of wearing nothing but leaves around your private parts. Or really, any colossal waste of money will work that serves no purpose other than to look artsy. This pointless spending is actually representative of strengthening bonds. Why else do you think people are expected to go out and spend thousands of dollars on a shiny rock that goes around your partner's finger just to get married? 
You can also surprise your crush with a surprise gift or trip that you know will mean a lot to them. Now, in order to know what to do for them, learn about your crush. But you can't just ask them questions. That will spoil the surprise. However, you don't need to. All you need to do is observe your crush's behavior over a select period of time in order to get a better understanding of their interests. Watch them at school or work to understand them better. Watch them while they shop to see what kind of stuff they buy. Watch them at home to see what they spend their free time doing. And watch them while they sleep to learn what they dream about. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give that like button a good old tussle. Remember to subscribe for more of the Love Doctor's checkups and hit that bell so you never miss an appointment. Now get out there and use these tips on your crush. Leave your experiences in the comments below and remember, none of this matters. Love isn't real. Love is actually a hoax created by the government in order to control the easily manipulated populace. See you. On the other side. You have from the bad girls every day, but I'm so quick to make sure that I make all the ladies stay. Yeah. But we don't need a gringo. It's not how they make us a boy, John Cena. I make you go boom boom, let's go to Montevideo. I play soccer with British actor Timo Werner.